Jason Zertzis, have you been in a war lately? Because it looks <laughs> like it. Ah, uh, just wrestled in the semis and got it with like two seconds left. So let's talk about that. That that last thirty second ride out, you got to get away. Yeah. How does Shelton? You guys are it's deadlocked. You get away with two seconds left. Yeah. What's that feeling like? Uh, you know, I came back, uh, stalemate called with like nine seconds left, and I was just knew I had to get one. Um, I've gotten away from a lot of people in nine seconds, so I was real confident and um, got that escape with two seconds left and got the win. So I, I had to do it to win. So I'd What would the Big Ten tournament do for your confidence? Um, you know, I think it helped a lot. I think uh, just being consistent, I think it helped with. Um, every every match is tough, so the consistency was a big thing in the Big Tens, kind of prepared me for this a little bit. People say your name wrong a lot. What's, what's the thing you get a lot? Um, I've T-shirts, heard it, of course. T-shirts a lot. I've heard various names that sound like diseases, <laughs> like tisseritis and things like that, so... Um, Which is weird because your brother wrestled. He was right. an American for Iowa, yep. and now you know it happens. People should know that. Is it Greek? It is Greek. Yeah, really Greek, Greek. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Going in tomorrow. Has there been a previous meeting with Ken Dick? No, I've never wrestled him. So I'm excited. I know he's a real tough kid and uh, real slick and technical. So I've got to go out there and wrestle tough. Is this a blast for you coming to Oklahoma uh, City and getting the finals? I love it. Um, haven't put a lot of pressure on myself. I think it's paying off. So have, having a good time. How many stitches? I think only three. Three? Yeah. That's nothing. No, not bad. All right, and it looks like you've got a multastic mullet. The mullet's pretty gross. Oh, man, yeah. what is going on with that? Talk to me about that. Who gave you that haircut? <laughs> um, well, Storniolo always has one and uh, said, I'm going to try it out, grow it out, and started in November, and um, it's March, and I, I've kept it throughout the whole season, so he cuts it for me and uh, try to not look too terrible with it all right anything you got to change about when you know you got to win a national title tomorrow you got to try yeah what do you got to do differently anything uh maybe get a little bit more offensive score score some takedowns uh solidify the match not in double overtime so yeah. all right jason you got anything else for me uh that's it all right man get that sweat going oh yeah good luck tomorrow yep thanks